What's up everyone? So it really is a wonderful stellar thing where it's like Deadpool and Wolverine has found so much success in the wake of the shaky MCU um, troubles with Phase 5 currently. And the fact that this movie has broken so many records, so many achievements and accolades attached to this film is something that's, again, it's, it's great to see. It's great to champion um, success. I mean, I remember on um, the biggest opening domestic weekend for a radar film. I think opening weekend as well, not just domestically, but I'm not sure about that one. Um, obviously, when it comes to like the film reaching a billion, it was the first superhero film to really reach a billion since 2021 with No Way Home. And then we also got the fact that it's the first billion dollar film this year. In 2024 and also um there was one more achievement it got oh yeah yeah now since today it's the you know it's the highest grossing rated art film of all time which is something that's again that's that's amazing that's really crazy how much Deadpool has found success <laughs> in the MCU of all things now to get to the point so yeah, when you when you see the title, you think to yourself, Eddie, what are you talking about? Well, you, you know, let's let's address the actual concerns and the actual elephant in the room when it comes to the MCU. How the MCU is just full of, of forced diversity, loss of, of you know, forced feminism. I mean, if anything, a more fitting term I have seen online is the MCU, where it's like, yeah, that definitely is something that's more fitting for this actual universe, how it, it, they care more about representation and their storytelling, good characters. Um, it's, it's just all pandering nowadays. It's like the people working at Marvel Studios, exactly, it's kind of feige, they don't know what they're doing anymore. It's a shame, but the MCU was in shambles. I feel like this film definitely was the first step into... um breaking the hold that woke Hollywood has on not just this franchise, but other franchises as well. Where it's like these modern franchises are just, you know, they're infested with this type of, 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 I guess, implements that us fans don't want to see. And the fact that this film did so successful because actual fans showed up, not the fans you pander to online, it's, it's great to see. Now, <laughs> now to get to the real juice. So, based on everything I just said, if you really thought I would say any of that fucking bullshit, you're smoking. <laughs> so, let me be for real. Of course, all that stuff was a joke. I would never say some shit like that. So, yeah, no. Um, apparently, all the... Because I, I, I've talked about this before. All the anti war grifters are trying to say this is a big win for the culture war. This is a big win against the MCU and woke Hollywood. Where it's like, what are you talking about? First of all, this is a Marvel Studios production. It doesn't matter that that Deadpool was transitioned to um, Marvel Studios with Disney buying the assets of, of, of you know Fox 20th Century Studios, if you want to put it lightly like that. It doesn't matter. This still is a Kevin Feige production. They still did everything behind the scenes for that studio. This is a, this is a movie that's dead ass implemented into the MCU um, multiversal saga. So it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, this is crazy. But but I, I knew for a fact that people are going to say this. I mean, first of all, who, who in their right mind would not show up for this film? I mean, come on, man. Based on the, on the actual plot itself or the, or the surrounding characters. I mean, Deadpool, a third Deadpool movie set within the MCU. Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine after a couple years since he said he was done. Then have this tie into like what Marvel's playing right now with the multiverse, have a bunch of cameos, a bunch of other appearances. It's like this movie was always attached to success. And also being the the first Marvel Studios M MCU rated R film. Like, come on, man. People were hyped, people were excited. But the fact that I see so many people claiming this as a win, where it's like, well, what's a win? I mean, I get it, you know. There, this movie is, is is led by two, you know, um, white men. But it's like, come on, man, don't go that route. And the fact that people are going that route, where it's like, okay, so, <laughs> I, I I guess it, it's it's weird because like, even with Phase Four, they had a bunch of successes. Just that you know, people 
want to say, you know, oh, forced representation, forced diversity, a bunch of women taking over, you know, baiting switches where it's like, okay, calm down. What are you talking about, man? You know, like that type of, I, I hate that type of, of, of media criticism where it's like, it's just a bunch of buzzwords for, for, for clapping idiots to say, yeah, 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 I agree with you. It's all woke. It's all SJW where it's like, like, is that all you're going to say? Or are you actually going to break down what's bad? Or are you just going to nitpick? And, and over exaggerate and use like a bunch of hyperboles or something that doesn't even make sense for the overall plot and synopsis of the film, you know, stuff when it comes to like the villain's motivations, character development, character death, lots of, 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 of stuff that has to do with basic storytelling, you know, like that it's that simple, but instead woman, minority background, woke, etc. And it's, it, I feel like this film, because yes, there's there's a long recurring theme. Even set aside these these specific fan bases, these um, outrage peddlers, where it's like, yeah, there's a long um, recurring habit of people saying the MCU was in shambles. We're back. The MCU was in shambles. We're back. And it's like, it's gonna keep on going. I, I, I can see a bunch of other projects near to come, where it's like, yeah, I, I, I could imagine people are, people are gonna say the MCU is dead, the MCU is in shambles, but then when they get this specific project, it's like it's like a pick and choose mentality. Where it's like, of course you, you have your own opinion and it's all subjective in terms of what you like, what you don't, but it's like, there's lots of bias when it comes to that crowd. There really is, <laughs> uh, what, what they consider quality. And it's like, when it, when it comes to Deadpool and Wolverine, it's like, it was something that was set up from day one to be successful. Like, let's, let's, let's be honest, this, this movie was always gonna be a hit. And because there's nothing to really spin it on, I mean, I wish there'd been something that they tried to say against this film, but no, they're trying to use it as a as a, a um as a stance against you know apparently this film is anti woke, this film is 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 pushing aside all, all this um, bullshit we don't want as as you know fans of the Marvel brand, and they had to create these fake scenarios where people are angry at this film's success. Where it's like, who who's angry? Like Brie Larson's angry. Like, come on, I've I've actually seen that. Where it's like, that's that's ridiculous. That's all I pretty much had to say. Where it's like, come on, man, let's just enjoy the win. Like real fans, people who don't act like this, who are actual normal, actually normal, are are singing this film's praises and and hoping for the best in the future.